Hello friends, Namaste everybody. Today I would like to introduce you with my second poetry book, Stop Sexual Abusing. Stop Sexual Abusing is the book that is dedicated to all the victims of sexual abusing in the world. And I hope that you would uh, like it. And this book has been published by Sankal Publication. And uh, the foreword of this book is written by Namin Kumar Parikh, the assistant professor, Department of English, SBD Government PG College, Sardar Seher. Okay, uh, let me tell you about this book. A nurse was gang raped and burned to hide the clues. This news shook me badly. And uh, today, nowadays, you can see the newspapers are filled with the news of uh, abusing innocent girls. Many of them are burned, killed after this heinous crime. Some of them live a hateful life. Neither they can live nor can they die. The offenders, rapists, murders wander free without any fear. The victims wait for justice but the system denies. To save our daughters, sisters, mothers and all the fair sex from this heinous crime, this hateful crime, I take up this work to find out the real causes of rape like crime and uh, try to explore the possible solution in my poetry. There are many reasons of this crime. I have highlighted social, political, economical, psychological and educational reasons and their possible solution through my poems in simple languages. I have tried my level best to infuse, imbibe and emulate my readers the proper reasons. I have made best effort to arise respect towards the fair sex and sympathy towards the victims. I studied many incidents and research papers to find out the causes and solutions of this worldwide problem and presented them in the form of short poems. My poems not only expose the reasons of this abhorrent crime but also suggest the proper solution of the problem. It motivates the youth, girl, boys, parents, our society, the politicians, bureaucracy to respect the women as a human being and protect them and their human rights. This book presents each and every aspect beautifully with proper emotion and expressions. I hope that after reading this book, the reader will respect each and every woman and they will be always ready to protect them in adversity. It will create a society which will be rape free. Each and every person will be aware about his rights and duty towards others. The rapists and offenders will be neglected and they will be protested without any kind of partiality. I am obliged to Mr. Namin Kumar Parikh, Assistant Professor, Department of English, SBD Government PG College, Sardar Seher Rajasthan in India, who wrote an amazing foreword to this book and appeal to the readers to raise their voice against the rape-like heinous crimes. I am very much grateful to Mr. Dinesh Upadhyay who composed review of my book again. He had motivated me and assisted me to determine the title. Again, I am very much thankful to Mr. Malay Kumar Jati, a renowned author of English language from Delhi. I am indebted to all the authors and readers from all over the world who appreciated the poems in the book. I hope that you would like it very much and give me your precious suggestion to improve it in the next edition. And uh, I would like to tell you that many writers, Nitish Kumar, Niti Raj, uh, Kelly Hack, Noura S. Abu Bakr, uh, Katy Protek, Cleric Oma Alpha, and uh, Mr. Malay Kumar Jati, Branka Kamrek, these writers appreciations of the different poems on 
Facebook page and uh, my Facebook account. I have mentioned all the comments given on the poems in this book. And I would like to tell you that this book comprises of uh, uh, 64 poems on this heinous crime. And I would like to recite one of the poem. Uh, the very beginning of this poem is Beware of the Rogue Saints. The title of the poem is Beware of the Rogue Saints. The glory of their seat and sweet hymns on the beat. The grand procession in the street attract the innocent to greet the rogues under the form of saints. They preach for detachment from the illusion. They preach for detachment from the illusion in the form of money, beauty and reputation. Sitting in the golden seat with diamond scintillations and invite the missies to dance for attraction. They perform the couple dance with ladies and gents. Beware of the rock scents. They traps the missies like the fish says by the fisherman. They traps the missies like the fishers by the fisherman and clutches them like a hungry loin in a den. And clutches them like a hungry loin in a den. They trap them by temptation of convocation. They trap them by the temptation of convocation and commit heinous crime of copulation. It makes the fully bloomed flower faints. Beware of the wrong sense. Beware of the wrong sense. Let us identify the imposters disguising as saints. Let us identify the imposters disguising as saints who exploit the innocent girls like the devil giants. Who exploit the innocent girls like the devil giants. Never be trapped by their sweet words and chants. Let us neglect their procession and glory magnificent. Let us neglect their processions and glory magnificent. Let us beware of the murderer, rapistus and the rog saints. Let us beware of the murderer, rapistus and the rog saints. Thank you very much. I hope that you would like it and you can purchase it from the Sankal publication and you can purchase it from the Amazon link. Thank you very much.